What's good, YouTube? Happy Boy 92 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today we are back for episode number eight of W A. He is good at math. Fuck you, okay? I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> but yeah, Dude. we are uh, Jay Nuck <clears throat> and uh, Twit myself. We're back for another episode of W A F B. What up, Jay? What up, Tweet? What up, Tweet? I said twit twit, okay? I just put a little twang on it. There was a little twang on it. There was no I. There was you from the South. I'm just trying to connect, okay? But anyways, we have another guest joining us this week. The uh, one and only Suka Steven. Uno. Hello. (laughs) Hello. And I want to say the formerly, the formerly Miss Fifi Lopez. Oh, yeah. That's the, yeah, that was the gamer tag. (laughs) The game of tizzag. <laughs> that was the game of tag. No, but I went back to the original game of tag when I was doing uh, tourneys. Oh. What? Um. What? Where did that come from, Miss Fifi Lopez? I always wondered about that. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. That came from. That was a nickname that I got um, back when uh, I was in the military. A um, couple of friends of mine just nicknamed me that because. Um, they said I was kind of like when they say Fifi, they said bougie like a French chick, but <laughs> a, a ghetto <laughs> trunk like Jennifer Lopez. So then they just added this to it because I'm classy. So they just call me Miss Fifi Lopez. Well, like everybody would just call me Miss Fifi Lopez, like the whole thing instead of just something short. Like nicknames are supposed to be short. Like right. yo, what a donk like that. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> simple but they didn't do that they were like yo miss Fifi lopez you coming out tonight i was like what the hell and it just stuck with me ever since i don't know they're weird they added the miss because i'm classy yeah. <laughs> you know for the for the longest time uh back when you actually went by you know like you, you were doing your gaming thing as miss fifi lopez i called you miss flip-flops for the longest yeah. fucking time no i got that all the time <laughs> Laugh like I don't mind it. It doesn't. I don't get butt hurt easily. So it's like Miss Flip Flops. I, I that's what I thought it like legit was. Like I just didn't pay attention to the name, and that he was like Miss Fifi Lopez. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like yo, get this channel right here. I'm like, oh Miss Flip Flops. Yeah. Okay. Yo, yeah, man. Like and for a second, like I got called that so much that I was just like, you know what? I'm kind of salty. I wish it was Miss Flip Flops now because that just <laughs> Flip Flops and the Miss just makes it Flip Flops sound classy. So. Mm-hmm. Classy flip flops. You're better than me because a lot of people would see my name when I had it as Japanese Nucka and they would always say, Oh, it's Japanese Nunchuck. I'm yeah. like, Come on, dude. Are you see, like, Come on. Who I, come on? I would get Nunchuck. Yeah. It's just laziness. That's what it is. It's just laziness. I'm surprised they didn't just say, Yo, what up, Miss Slant Eyes? Like, what? That isn't even, <laughs> that's not even close. <laughs> that's not even close. Oh, so Lord. obviously. Obviously, everybody that's tuning in, she's funny. Um, obviously, she's a comedian. She's she's transitioning. We'll get into that. Um, first, I just kind of want to get in to your uh, to your gaming background. Like, what got you started on gaming? What was your first game, and you know, how did your love for gaming come about, if you will? Um, that's funny because, like, when I get asked that question, it immediately puts an age stamp on me. So, it's, uh, yeah, my my first. Uh, console, it was Atari. And so first, yeah, the first game I played was Pong. That, that's the game that actually came with the Atari when you, when you <clears throat> bought it. So it was wow. like Pong, Pitfall, uh, what is it, C- Commando. I mean, there was like a bunch of them, and we used to play that. And I joke around, and I say me and my sister were co-op before co-op existed. <laughs> 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 because... You know, back in the day, they didn't have co-op. It was just right. like, it was like, you have so many lives. So me and her would be like, listen, you, you die, it's my turn. Then I die, it's your turn. And we would just <laughs> go back like that. And we just graduated that from like Atari to, you know, Nintendo with Super Mario and uh, Sega Genesis and, and then fucking GameCube. Like, w- we did it all, like the whole progression. And um, I, I just was in love with gaming all the time as a kid. Um, I was a I was a nerd, so that was like our outlet. You're you're That's right. Really... I put a I put an age stamp on you, but I did not think that you were that old. Same here. Just based uh, off of pictures and stuff. 
cold. I say seasoned. Seasoned. There you go. <laughs> hey guys, Nappy's treading on thin water right now. Listen, I if anything, it was a compliment. Okay, I said based on how she looks, she don't need to see be that old. Yeah. Look, that look. I'm just. I'm gonna keep. I'm just. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, you go back over there. You go back over no, there. Sorry. Back over there. No, I know. I get that. I get that a lot. But you know what? That's that's uh. <clears throat> That's the Asian genetics, man. Like we'll, we'll fucking fool you. You got a card us just to be sure. <laughs> that is true. That's that's one of the perks. I'm, I got half of that perk too. I mean, you know, I'm I'm older older gamer, but I, you know, I got them young looks. So uh, yeah, I'm so not I stopped working half a decade ago, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> a decade ago, Jay. Anyways, yeah. anyways, guys. Uh, the, the, people do get confused. They're like, "Damn, Atari!" And then they try, they start doing the math, and I'm, and I'm by that time, I'm gone. Like I'm already <laughs> left. I left the building. It's like I'm out like a ninja. You ain't even see me. Exactly. Just um, <laughs> smoke bomb. I'm out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> So growing up, um, I you know obviously I don't, well I know but I don't know if everybody knows you are of Korean descent. Is that the proper way to say it? Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm a mitt. I'm a mutt. I'm mixed. <laughs> so growing up like that, I mean, I I know me myself. My mom is Japanese, and uh, she was pretty strict on limiting my video game time when I was growing up and stuff like that. Did you ever encounter any problems like that, or your mom was pretty chill? No, man. My mom. Uh, I joke around a lot, and I say like my mom was a mix. Like if if Kim Jong Il and <laughs> oh, had a baby. It would be my mom. Like, <laughs> she got, she got that uh, like communist slash uh, dark side of the force working behind her. No, I love my mom. She was very, very strict. So it was like you got to have priorities type thing. You know, hey, you right. finish your homework, you you do chores, you be productive, then fine, you can do that. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so we didn't spend a lot of time on there. But I, I think my mom was a little lenient about the video game thing only because um, she kind of she kind of fucked with me as a kid. Well, can I say fuck? Yeah, you can. I'll say whatever fuck you want. Because <laughs> she kind of fucked me up as a kid um, on purpose. So I think she was just trying to, you know, like, all right, I fucked you up just a bit. So fine, you can play video games. That kind of thing, you know, because like. Was it the dark side of the force thing, or was it the communist thing? No, like, well, I mean, like, she could throw a shoe like it was a fucking boomerang and catch that Dude, shit. Dude, that's like an Asian mom <laughs> trait. They yeah, are know. fucking black belts with the shoes. Seriously. Yeah, they are. Like, inanimate object, like, you see kung fu movies and, like, Jackie Chan be kicking chairs and shit like that and using everything around him. It's it's a, It sounds stupid, but, like, my mom would do that shit, too. Like, yep. she'd be a ladle, fucking smack you with it, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom's weapon of choice was the wooden spoon every time. Yeah. <laughs> the wooden fucking spoon. What is up with Asians and kicking utensils? Because that's what's mo- that's what they're mostly doing is they're cooking yep. and fighting people. <laughs> cooking and fighting, <laughs> cooking and fighting people. That's all Asians do, guys. That's all, what they- <laughs> at least in my family, that's all we do. We cook and we fight. And the way I cook. watch any kung fu movie from here on out will be drastically mm-hmm. altered because, like, now I'll be looking for like <laughs> kitchens at every fight scene from here on out. They'll be Yo, like man. running through the hotel really kitchen. Bah, 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 bah. Yo, if you really think about it, you think about kung fu movies and martial arts movies. There's always drink and food. <laughs> yeah. There's always drink and food involved. Like you just watch it just a little bit. There's a drink that went splash and all that kind of shit. But no, my mom was kind of strict. Like uh, she, <laughs> she like she admitted to this years later. Like my mom has this thing. Like every five years, she'll admit something. Like she, like okay, I'm gonna come clean about something. <laughs> yeah. So every five years she would do it. And one year I was just, we were going through pictures and I was like, damn mom, like, do you not realize I was such a fucking nerd? You made me look like the Asian ugly Betty. Oh my gosh. Like glasses, braces, nappy hair, all that, right? And she was like, well, you didn't get pregnant. (laughs) (laughs) That was your end game? Too shame. Smart, yeah. smart. It was smart. Yeah, I was like, "You're right, mom. No one wanted to fuck me." Like, I <laughs> <laughs> <That> was good. <laughs> yeah, but I and, and I had those pictures too because a lot of people uh, posted it up. They're like, you know, I'm so sick and tired because you see it a lot on Twitter and Facebook and just ignorant people on YouTube. It's like, oh yeah, I look good now, but I was a nerd. It's like, uh, yeah, shut up. 
I want to see you put, you know, cash that check. So I posted <laughs> up my childhood pictures to prove, no, I was fucking ugly. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not downplaying it. And I posted them in all their 80s glory. And it was oh, glorious. The thick, <clears throat> thick plastic glasses, like the ones that the hipsters wear now to like be cool. the ones I have on? <laughs> no, bigger. Bigger. Oh my god. Maybe. Bigger, dude. Think Jackie O sunglasses, but that you know you can <laughs> like those. And them old school braces, you know, where they were like, you got them colored rubber bands to try to match with clothes. Like, that's oh, cool. you were one of those. I, I had those when I was a kid. I had braces when I was a kid. And the the doctor told me he said, pick what color you want. And I was like, oh, I have a say in this? Like, I was yeah. just fucking amazed. Like, that was the best part of the whole thing, was getting to change the rubber bands. Yo, change the rubber bands to match your stupid shit. Yo, yeah. And now they got that, what, Invisalign? Let me tell you something. Invisalign pisses me off. There's nothing that pisses me off worse than people who complain about braces now and bullying. I'm like, fuck y'all. Like, that, <laughs> that's some <laughs> building shit right there. So, I get so pissed. Like, look, they're invisible. Like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I had that shit like I could tune in Tokyo. Like, you know, oh like, <laughs> and then you added on top of that nappy hair, like, oh Jesus. God, Jesus. She wow. said I, she I could had that tune Asian hair, Tokyo. you know, that long, flowing Japanese soaked in dragon yeah. fruit. I didn't have that. I was like, man, I was screwed. I was screwed. I had it. I had it until I cut my hair. What and did you say pop, it was soaked in what? Came. So Dra- drag, <laughs> dragon what now? Dragon fruit. Dragon. Fr- oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong country. I thought it was gonna be dragon blood or something. Wrong country. Dragon, fruit. <laughs> dragon blood. No, that's Charlie Sheen, ain't that? No, that's Tiger blood. Tiger blood. Tiger blood. So, dragon blood. Same difference. <laughs> you said you were um you were in the military. Just out of curiosity, what branch of the service were you in? I was in the U.S. Air Force. Oh, okay. How long were you in there for? Uh, five years. Okay, and you said you're the product of military. You're you're a military brat yourself, or yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was uh, special forces green beret. Wow. Yeah, and okay. that, that's funny because like a lot of people will be like, "Damn, special forces green beret." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," but my mom was the terrorist in the family. Like she was <laughs> <laughs> terrorizing people, not my dad. Yeah, the combination of your mom making you the Asian ugly Betty and your dad being a freaking army stud. You know, yeah. that, that would definitely ward off some uh, some boys growing up. Yeah. I could definitely see how that would ward them off. So Yeah, no, my dad had a my dad had it pretty easy, you know, since my mom uggoed me up. He didn't really have to do anything. He was like, oh, this is kind of easy. I don't really have to fight people off or anything. Like, yeah. But he was very strict. Like very it was very strict upbringing. So when I got into this whole uh, moving out here and getting into the industry, that type of thing, I was surprised that they were backing me up 100%. Like, I didn't expect that. The right on. That's, yeah. yeah, that is, I mean, a lot because I know a lot of, like, Asian moms are really strict on, they either want their kids to be a doctor or, yeah. you know, something crazy like that. And it's just like, you know, just let me do me. But, uh you know, that's really cool that, that your parents were supportive like that. I wanted to get into your YouTube channel a little bit um, mm-hmm. in the early stages, just the gaming. Um, what kind of made you want to start uh, showing all this on YouTube? As far um, as, your gaming? As, far as the, the gaming portion of it went, it was um, I would see a lot of stuff online that was more, you know, first person shooters, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of started getting into it because, you know, um, gamers like gamers used to be comprised of nothing but fucking nerds like i remember it used to be just nothing but nerds because mm-hmm. it started you know mainly with pc yeah you had some console but it was mostly like pc the camaraderie and just hanging out with people talking to people and things like that and then it just became this fucking whirlwind of um douchebags like douchebags and asshats that are just like <laughs> um you totally suck and your kill death ratio is this and i'm just like oh my god shut the fuck up you know right. it, that it was just such an influx of this and this uh stigma about especially females who game and i did it mostly because i kept seeing all this shit like girl gamer girl gamer girl gamer and nothing rubs me the wrong way like using that moniker so mm-hmm. 
I started it up just as a, a way of like kind of just venting and being with friends and just kind of doing my own thing and finding my own way uh, kind of thing. And then it grew into something that me and my sister could do again because, you know, we live apart from each other and, and we always did everything together. Gaming, too. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to still incorporate her into that. And then that's when I started Say What, which was me and her doing like dual commentary over gameplay. Mm-hmm. Just talking about all kinds of shit that don't even have to deal with games, you know? <laughs> and so that kind of hit it. And, um, and then, you know, I was doing vlogs. So I started with vlogs. Then I did it in gameplay. Then I was doing dual com with my sister. And then, um, then and that was it. And it wasn't to get a partnership. You know, it wasn't to, to become like YouTube famous or what, any of that shit. Honestly, it was just to... You know, I, I would like to say it was like a nerdy version of a Dear Diary for fucking grownups. That's, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like I could look back and be like, oh, shit, yeah, I remember that. That was funny. Or that was fun. That kind of thing. Well, I know you used to, um, well, I don't say used to like you still aren't, but weren't you used to be uh, real big into Gears? Oh, yeah, man. Gears. Yeah. Are Epic, you? I infinite, like fucking nerd boner for gears of wars i love that game (laughs) (laughs) are you uh excited for the new one coming out i am but you know i'm i'm a baller on a budget and so (laughs) he you know investing into the gaming hobby like i used to Mm -hmm. like you know i was on top of every fucking new game that was coming not every single one but like big big name ones that i was really excited about i was getting that shit all the time but that money adds up Mm -hmm. and you know, since being out here, it's like, yo, I gotta, I gotta pick and choose now. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was the same way because this month they had Tomb Raider, Gears of yeah. War, Bioshock, Dead Island, all of it's coming out all in the same month, and I, I had yeah. to settle with Bioshock. And I was lucky enough someone gifted me Tomb Raider on Steam, but um, mm. I still haven't, I uh, still haven't gotten uh, Dead Island situated or the new Gears because I'm, a, I'm a big gears fan i was never the world's greatest at the multiplayer that was the only thing that mm-hmm. i hated about it i didn't hate yeah, it's i didn't impossible hate, no no i didn't hate the multiplayer i hated yeah. that i couldn't get used to it because I, yeah. I, would, I would still go in there i'd still run around i'd say i'd get my ass handed to me and i'd still be like <laughs> let's go again let's go again you know yeah but uh i love gears the gear storyline gears horde all of it i just gears is so different that's why i like yeah. it so much yeah i love it i love i love the the story i love the gameplay i i like went hard on the horde mode because i just love the co-op like any game that has to do with like cooperative mm. like you got a team of people and friends that you can fucking because i'm the type of person when i play i'm in a lobby with my friends and we're talking about everything we're talking about the game we're fucking clowning about life and we're just having a good time it's not that competitive like oh fuck you i'm gonna teabag you on this next round it's like <laughs> Okay, like, I um, feel like 12 hours ago, Deja Vu all over again. We were playing Modern Warfare 2, and someone told Twig, he said, I'm going to make you eat mashed potatoes and bananas for the yep. rest of your life. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Who said yeah. in the lobby? What? But, <laughs> but yeah, I like uh, the, the... Bananas whole... and mashed potatoes for the rest of your life. That's like, what he what? said. Like, what is that? that? Whatever, whatever. Yeah. yeah, what does that even mean? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, people say the weirdest shit. Like, I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you. And it's like, whoa. Um, <laughs> uh, dude. Well, that escalated people. quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yo, dude, that's a little, that's a little gay. Like, I mean, it's cool <laughs> if you are, but I don't swing that way. I'm, I'm good. You know, and right. people will say a lot of crazy shit. And that's the, the thing that I don't, it's kind of like when you're with your friends. You're just chilling with your friends. You're having a good time. It's the same with gaming. I don't want to go into a lobby where it's like, there's a fucking bitch in the room. Get her. And I'm like, um, <laughs> when when did this become like an episode of Law and Order SVU? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> just got really awkward real quick, you know? So uh, that, that's what I liked about Gears of War is like the, the cooperative gameplay and the story. And I love the fact that And I'm sorry, I'll have to say it. Like, you know, the way female characters are portrayed in video games, you know, they can be tough without being fucking fat and the dyke or butch or whatever the fuck you want to say that's non-PC or PC. It's just, come on, man. Like, there's all different types. Mm -hmm. And that's that's another reason I like Borderlands is because they had all different types of females. Oh, my God! 
Shit! You're awesome. Thank you. Oh, Nappy, calm down. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Borderlands, like, love- Borderlands is in my top three series of all time. Period. I know they only got two games out, but those that Borderlands is fucking amazing. Yeah, and I love their their pop culture references, their jokes. I mean, even subtle things like signs when you're walking around and you're reading them. Mm-hmm. You know, things like the humor in it, the development, the story, the characters, like every individual. There's like a whole shitload of people in that game, mm-hmm. and they really put details everywhere, and I love it. Um, what's the other game? I hear a lot of people talk shit about that pisses me off. Call of uh, Duty? No. <laughs> Saints Row the Third. I hear so many people like, that's such a sexist game. Like, fuck you, man. I was running around beating people up with that purple baseball bat. I'm not gonna lie. That purple dildo bat? Yo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I had a solid hour where I was just smacking random people with that shit. And I had a whole time. And that's now you, anyway. You did, uh, you touched on vlogs a little bit. And I just want to say before I get into the next subject that uh, probably my favorite vlog you did was the special request you took when I asked you to vlog you yourself making bulgogi. Yeah. That was amazing. I was like, yes, she made the video. And this is so informational like it was spot on everything yeah. we needed to make it it was there in the video and you showed yep. us step by step how to make and i was just like man that's awesome mm-hmm. yeah yeah I, I remember that i was like all right all right I, yeah that's true i do it because that's one of like the most requested like anybody who is like so uh what are you um what are you um mm, asian like what type and i'm like I, I, i'm half korean oh i love bulgogi and I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like all right i'll give you credit you know what you, you pronounce it right and then they'll be like how to make that you know so i get that a lot so i was like when you asked i was like yeah no problem i could fucking do that that's simple and yeah, as i was doing awesome. it and editing it i was like man i was i was trying to edit it to where it was like small but then i mm-hmm. realized like if i cut out all the information people are just going to be like yeah i'll just go to my local food line grab the shit and then they're gonna be like your boogie sucks <laughs> i haven't heard i haven't heard someone mention food line in years i know Holy right shit <laughs> Holy! I think there's there's one food line like three hours from me right now. God damn! When that's when I lived in uh when states. I lived in Virginia, that's where we went to shop. Was that food line? Because they had Safeway, which is like yeah. ten dollars extra for everything, or right. you go to food line. And I was like, God damn! I miss Yo, food line. Yo, food line, Kroger, and H E B. Those are like the top three. H E B. Holy shit! Grocers you can go to. So we're covering all demographics here. <laughs> now, we touched on uh, the gaming aspect of your channel. Obviously, you've transitioned to your career part of your life, yeah. and uh, your channel is also transitioning that way. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about that? Um, yeah, like uh, I, I kind of made the decision to really put a lot of force into what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, which is uh, acting and comedy. So um, I made the move to Cali to start that and put a lot of my effort and work into that. And so I was like, you know what? I think it'd be kind of interesting if I vlogged about it. You know what I mean? Not because like, oh, you know, I'm the shit or any kind of thing like that. But it was mostly, again, it was mostly for my documentation purposes. Mm -hmm. You know, Again, it's like my grown up version of A Dear Diary that I could look back on and be like, oh, holy shit. Like, you remember that? <laughs> that, you know, look at where you came from and look it up to this point, that kind of thing. It was almost like a time capsule milestone that I could look at and be like, holy shit, look how far I've come or, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I mean, I ain't quite like on that status of like TV all the time or anything like that. Like, no, but I will say in the amount of time that I've been here, I did put it to work and, and I look back on those videos and be like, holy shit, because because I came from, like, the decision that happened, and, and I know most people be like, you shouldn't probably tell that story. That's not something to brag about. But I find it hilarious, and that's why I shared it on Twitter and stuff like that, was um, the whole thing kind of came about before, like, while I was in this long-term relationship. I wasn't happy, and, and a friend of mine asked me the question, like, what do you want to do f- with the rest of your life? Like, what are you passionate about? And when he put me on the spot and asked me that question, I was just like, yo, I don't know which made me feel like shit. So, <laughs> so I had to about it um, after feeling like shit. And then I was like, well, I'm not having my relationship. I want to do. So then I came to the decision 
But the guy that I was dating beat me to the punchline and dumped me. So I was like, "Word, okay." Wow. Um, now what? <laughs> so I was, I was like, was the thing that made me go, you know what? It's time to shit or get off the pot. So <laughs> <laughs> what? All my shit and moved to Cali to, to work on this dream of mine. I'm going to steal that, by the way. I'm I'm, yeah, I'm writing that, that down. That Y'all never movie. heard that before? I've Should've never that. heard that. Never yeah. heard of shit off the pot? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And my mom used to say some crazy shit because she was married to a black guy. And so she <laughs> thought that she could make like black jokes and be funny 24-7, which she did. But I've yeah. never heard the term shit or get off the pot. Never. Yeah. Wow. Shit or get off Sounds the pot. Sounds like some shit my mom would say. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Get off the pot or put your money where your mouth is. It's like the same concept. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. No, but it was. It was like, all right, it, it's time. There's no excuses now. You know, mm-hmm. so what are you going to do? So um, I, I even documented that and I was tweeting it and I had a couple followers and stuff. And and all I can say is like I made the cross country drive from like the East Coast to the West Coast. Wow. And like all the people that I had been gaming with and I knew from gaming and talked to and they had YouTube channels and I was supporting them and stuff like that. Like they were just like, you don't understand you doing this is like really making me think about my life. And I'm like, you know what? That's awesome. Like mm-hmm. to me, that is awesome. That whatever fucking shit I was going through that, even though I was documenting it and being honest about it and real about it, people were really responding to it. So I was like, yo, that's cool. That's really giving me the, the, the drive to do this shit. And then I come to Cali and this was the fucked up part. A friend of mine, I was supposed to be crashing <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, but we're cool, right? And then uh, he caught feelings. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit. And not <clears throat> even within the first 48 hours I was in town, he caught feelings, got pissed off at me, and kicked me out. So Damn. I was, wow. yeah, I, was on, I was basically, I had no, I was like, oh, okay, shit. So it was almost like one of those, I was like, what the fuck? Like, everything that could go wrong, will go wrong, had gone wrong. And it just made me really like second guess, like why the fuck did I do this? And then all of a sudden, everything just turned around. It was like night and day. Boom, I found a roommate. Boom, I found like a nice place. Boom, I started booking shit. Like my, the first week I was in town, I had my first audition and I booked it and I got paid and I got credit. So I was- shit. Yeah, but the funny thing about that was leading up to that, I also got a fucking ticket from a cop. <laughs> they had to bring you back down to reality. I was like, okay, down you're to reality. flying high right now. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found a place, and they were like, no, nope, sorry, and smacked me with the ticket. I was like, God dang. So, <laughs> um, but I was really happy about that, and then everything started picking up from there. So I was, I was. It, that's why I was like tweeting about it and messaging about it because a lot of people kind of had this misconceived notion of, oh, she's doing great and all this kind of stuff. She want to be like, she don't know nobody. I'm like, yo, man, come on. I, I went through some fucking crummy shit and I shared that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not rosy. And that's what I wanted them to know. Like, life ain't going to be rosy. But if you keep focused and you work hard on it, then whatever it is you set your mind to, you can fucking accomplish it. And that there was the whole point. There it is. And coming from a subscriber perspective, it's been fun watching your journey. And I'm thankful um, that you that you opened up and and shared all that with us because it is inspiring as well as interesting. So, uh, I mean, it's been awesome just kind of watching your journey and and watching you grow and just, you know, all the experience you've encountered and gone through. It's been actually really cool, you know, watching all that and and you sharing that with us. And for everybody tuning in real quick, I don't want to forget. Sue's a regular over at the Comedy Store in Hollywood, California. So this applies to people in Hollywood, California. Well, not just Hollywood, but around the, in the surrounding areas. Yeah. And that's about a block away from the Laugh Factory, I believe. Yep. So yep. definitely, I mean, if you enjoyed what you heard on this podcast, I mean, she, I didn't, I didn't even know what to expect. And I, I mean, I'm just over here laughing through the whole podcast. So definitely, if you guys think she's funny and you're in the area, go check her out for sure. For yeah, sure. shit or get off the pot and come check out. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh lord. Well, it's about that time. So it was amazing having you on, Sue. 
Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always, you know, great talk to you guys and watching your shows and listen to your, your shit. Like y'all, y'all really have me dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was amazing having you on. It was definitely a new experience because normally we, we get people that are so closely tied to the YouTube community. So yeah. it's, it's nice to get people that are outside of that every once in a while. So it was, uh, it was amazing having you on. We want to thank you for having you on. Make sure you check out her Twitter and her channel and all that stuff. And, uh, everything Jay just said. I was gonna say Laugh Factory, but she's not. Happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not quite there yet. I'm looking my way up. You know what I'm saying? So. She's gonna get there. In a couple she's of good. months when she's on TV and she's in movies and shit, we're gonna be like, "Yo, yeah, she was on the podcast." So, yeah, that's <laughs> mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I've been hearing a lot of. Like, yo, man, don't forget us. I was like, yo, I'm not forgetting. That's the only thing I'm I'm sad about is I don't get to game as much with um, people anymore. I miss that. Well. But thank you for having me. I really appreciate it, guys. And um, it was entertaining it was, as hell. Yo, it was more entertaining before you started recording. That's what I'm stuck with that. <laughs> That's the director's cut. You got to pay for that. That's the bonus. That's the, that's the pay-per-view edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this shit up before we go any further. Um, new Tuesday challenge every week. I know this is the blunt as fuck transition, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, new Tuesday challenge every week. Thursday videos coming out. Podcast every Saturday. Um, on behalf of Jane Twit, we want to thank you all for all your support on the channel. And all that good shit. So yeah, you want to take us out of here, Jay Twit? Yeah. Uh, before I take you out, I apologize. My daughter came in during the podcast, so. Sorry, guys, a little unprofessional, <laughs> but uh, I am a daddy. So, anyways, with that said, for everybody here, we appreciate the love and support, and we'll see y'all next time. We out. Peace. That covers it for me. I'm out of here. This motherfucker. Stand up. Stand up. Go. Stand up. <laughs>